Hello, I'm Neil. Welcome to Grandpa's Workshop. As always, a big thank you to all my subscribers. Now this week I was contacted by Saker and asked if I'd like to take a look at this. Their 6 inch chamfer plane. I'm not being paid to do this. They've sent me this for free just to try it out. So I'm going to take a look, see what I think. So this is the Seiko chamfer plane. Let's take it out of the box and see what's inside. Alright, we've got the chamfer blade itself and a nice little bag. And in the bag we've got an Allen key and instructions. We've also got chamfer plane cutting heads. And there's six in this box. And one already fitted inside the chamfer plane. Let's take a little look at this then. It's all metal, feels quite nice, not too bad weight wise, really simple. You've got a locking knob and adjustment. Simply unlock it and then rotate it to advance or retract the cutting head. To replace the blade, it says simply. Keep lowering the blade until it drops out. As you can see, the cutting head has got threaded end. Put it back in and start retracting it. Simple. The only thing I can say is it could do with somewhere to store the allen key and I think surely they could put a little hole in the end so you could slot it in or have something on the top something just just so you don't lose it Let's take a look at these extra cutting heads Different profiles. All right, I'll set up a piece of wood and I'll give it a go. Each cutting head. It's got millimetre marks going down the side. I don't know if that's it, it's showing up better on camera now. So you can set your depth of cut. You don't want to be taking off too much, otherwise you're just going to make life harder for yourself. So let's see if I can use this myself. Only took a shallow little bit off there, so I need to advance the cutter. So unlock it, just rotate it slightly, lock it back up, and try again. Again, took a bit more off, advance the cutter again.
is put a nice smooth round over on this piece of wood. Won't take much sanding, it's nice and smooth. It feels comfortable in the hand when you're using it. It feels solid. I think the blades could be doing will be a bit, little bit sharper. So I might have to look into how to sharpen them. I've got shavings of various thicknesses. I've also got these six cut heads I need to try out in future. Normally when I'm doing a round over or a chamfer on a piece of wood I just grab the router and use that. This is going to be nice for little uh, projects where I don't want to get a router out and start messing about with wires and stuff. I like it. I think I need some practice with it though. I hope you've enjoyed this video and as always thanks for watching.